1962, the Titans were bankrupt. The AFL owners feared a collapse of the New York franchise might take down the entire league, so they kept the Titans afloat. Finally, a group headed by Sonny Werblin bought the team, renamed it the Jets, and in 1965, signed Joe Namath. Three years later, in their new Shea Stadium home, the Jets won the AFL championship. Linebacker Larry Grantham was one of four ex-Titans still on the roster. Don Maynard was still there as well, and teaming with Namath, he became the most feared deep receiver in football. Maynard, Grantham, Curly Johnson, and Bill Mathis, number 31, all were former Titans who played in the Super Bowl upset of Baltimore. At the final gun, it was Larry Grantham who took off with a game ball, completing the long climb from Coogan's Bluff to the summit of pro football. It was probably the happiest, most fantastic moment of my life. You know, I got a picture on my wall in my office that uh, it's one of the, it's not in color. It's uh, Larry Grantham in a New York Titan uniform. I look at it every day. There's not any time that goes by in my life that I don't realize where we came from and where we wound up. Basically what it means to me, it's an identity. It was a great tribute to the old Titans team, you know, four of us, that was, that actually lasted, you know, long enough to win a Super Bowl. I know that we, on that particular day, that we were worst champs. We kicked Baltimore's butt. And that, that makes me wear that with a lot of pride. All set. Here's John Schmidt over the ball at center as New York is five minutes away from the Super Bowl. And they sense it unless the Raiders can somehow upend the trend here. Namath under center gives to Snell. Snell hit by Lassiter and then Holly Williams and Connors as he got a couple. Namath keeping that ball on the ground because every time he does, that clock ticks away. The Raiders have two timeouts left. 27-23 New York. As Namath took the Jets 68 yards in three plays on an 11-yard pass to Sauer, a 52-yard bomb to Maynard, and a six-yarder to Maynard, and that was it. And the depths of despair for the silver and black. And the heights of elation for the green and the white of the New York Jets. An incredible twist of fate.